You are the wife of NBA star Joe X- Smith. Joe Smith. Yes. Okay. We're going to call you Kiss. Is that your artist name? Yes. Do you use that on OnlyFans as well too? Okay. I was a porn star from the years of 1989 to 2006. AIDS was rampant around this time. Everyone thinks that because you're a porn star, you're super promiscuous and that, you know, mm-hmm. you have a high body count. <laughs> I-, I ain't never seen nobody pump their husband the way you did. I have an OnlyFans page and he's mad because he's just now finding out about it. Of course I'm mad at you, but I'm not doing it with anybody but myself, so why should I have to tell you my choice, my body, my body, my fucking choice? How, how did you and Joe meet? We met in Los Angeles um, in 2012 at a BET Awards party. <laughs> so he was playing basketball at the time? No, he wasn't. Oh, he was? It was before? No, this is after basketball. After basketball? Yes. I don't know why I thought you met him. Everyone, that's the that's a preconception right there, or a misconception that I was with him while he was playing ball. I'm not. I was not that wife. So he's retired? Yes. Okay, was he getting retirement checks when you met him? Um, no, there, it doesn't work like that. Wife. And then Monique Slaughter, she stole $100,000 from him. She was dating him prior to me. Loving hip hop Monique? Yes. Um, M- Monique's Monique's. Monique's Monique. Got a baby by a little fizz. Monique's the thief. How the hell did that go down? And then I even have her on a recording saying, I can tell you how I got the money. So you're in a relationship with kids and then you fuck play? I was whack as fuck. Dick is trash. Got a little ass dick. Like I, like I fucked up good dick for whack dick. Whose life did you ruin? And nobody else's. <laughs> um, I was fucking with Pac for a little bit. Tupac? Yes. But not like his girl, just, you know, we boned every now and then. I met him. You was fucking with Pac. Now Jada is finna lose her shit. Yeah. Tupac's widow is finna lose her fucking shit. Was you okay? The dick first was of all, good. I'm trying to figure <laughs> the out dick why. Tupac was she, good, and he he Tupac like got some good dick. Yes. <laughs> Jada swears that Tupac was with her. No. And I'm like, no, he had a he fiance. He was with Keisha, and I was the other Keisha. And he probably was smashing around that time, but Jada was also fucking MC Light around that time. Let's talk about it at the catch, honey. Whoa. Gave them there together. Whoa. So, yes, ma'am. Whoa, what the hell just happened? You're saying that you know Jada Pinkett Smith. Uh, Bester. Yes. How you doing, Miss Bester? Where you calling I'm from? Atlanta. Shout out to ATL. Now you got a relationship-based question or yes. a situation? Okay, what's your question? Go ahead. I ain't had no wine in a minute. Trish. Okay, but I, I've been watching you since when you first started. But my question is, I've been married for 35 years. Congratulations. And, and my kids are grown now. But me and my okay. husband just bought a smaller house to downsize. Mm-hmm. And he wanted to turn the garage into a man cave. Mm-hmm. So I have a nonprofit organization. I have a lot of events at Mercedes Benz and State Farm. So I'm tired sometimes. But he went and threw all of my stuff away out of the garage because he was saying, I told you to go get your stuff, get what you wanted. But I had been working so much, I didn't have time. And I've been so mad at him. I haven't been wanting to look at him, sleep in the same bed with him. I just, it hurt me so well, bad. What did it throw away? Some of my grandmother's stuff. My grandmother raised me. And I had a lot of ornaments and stuff that she had in her house in boxes. Because we recently just moved here. He about threw it in the trash or did he give it away? No, he threw all this stuff in the trash. And I went to the trash where he threw some of the stuff and I was able to find some things. But I've just been so mad at him. I just haven't been wanting to have be near him, talk to him. He's been trying to talk to me and I just feel a certain kind of way. I don't want to have sex with him or anything. And I'm just like, I don't know if I am. Am I taking this too far? It's hard. It's hard, bro. Your grandmama stuff? Yes. It's gone. All of it's gone, and I can't. I couldn't find any of those boxes. Um, some of my winter clothing were in. Um, like had I had hampers down there. And were you kept, able to salvage some of the grandmother's belongings? No, I couldn't find it. Okay. Um, you do realize this is just a man thing. Really, I don't think he did it intentionally to piss you off. The fact know. that y'all just, still having sex and he wants some pussy 35 years later and y'all still sleep in the bed because you know most people start sleeping in separate beds. 
Yeah, we still sleep in the same bed and we be right. very active with sex. But mm-hmm. I haven't had sex with him since Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? That nigga yeah. losing his mind. <laughs> he is. He is. I mean, I, I don't have any feelings for him. It's like, it hurt me so. I was so hurt. I cried. Did he apologize? No, he has not. He oh. had like it was nothing. Oh. So I, I don't know what to do. I'm like, I don't want to. Is he, want, has he always been the type of husband to never apologize for shit? Yes. Okay. So that's part of his character. So does he apologize through his actions, but he can't just bring himself to say it? Yes. So has he apologized through his actions? Yeah, he's been trying to. He, he tried to talk to me some texts when he's at work. Um, when he come into the house, then I'll go downstairs and he'll he just be looking at me like I'm crazy. But I'm just, my heart was hurting. I'm trying to figure out, am I messing up my marriage? It, it, by acting it really, like that? No, it's just a man thing. You know they stupid. Okay. Let me tell you how stupid they are. Give an example. So mm-hmm. I used to buy really expensive pots, right? So mm-hmm. I found the, the Mexican grocery store where they got them them silver pots and stuff. Yeah. You know? okay. And I used to buy really expensive pots. And every time we moved, because my husband and I moved a lot, instead mm-hmm. of if we had food in the refrigerator and the pots was in the refrigerator, because I hate Tupperware. It's like clutter to me. And once we're done with that food, we stay, we save it for a couple of days. I, you know, I cook again, right? Mm-hmm. He would just throw the damn pots away. <gasps> Because he didn't want to wash the pots. He does that. He does that mm-hmm. shit. And it's like, so you would just, he's the type, if he gets down to his last boxer, he will go buy new boxers. I heard you say that before because I listen to you every day. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, um, okay, the washing machine is right there. You walk past yeah. it. And I'm like, and so me, I just feel bad. And like, I'm, I'm, I'm slipping as a wife, but I, damn, shit. Boxes don't buy no draws. What the hell? But he'll go and then I like I'm folding 40 pair of boxers. Oh my gosh. Why do you act like they can use the washing machine? That's how they are. Like he you if he's apologized the way he normally apologizes, just tell him if he fuck with your shit again, he ain't gonna talk to you for three months. Okay. He could have moved it into another part of the house. And I bought a shed and he had the audacity to put his lawnmower equipment in the shed that I purchased for myself. It just sounds like a real marriage. Y'all love each other for real. (laughs) (laughs) And I just be (laughs) every time I look at him, I just be frowning. I be like, oh, I just can't stand being by him. I just go downstairs and and he'll follow me. He'll come downstairs look in the door with his bedroom. I'm gonna hear it come out his mouth. Just tell him, listen, I just need you to say sorry one time. Okay. Just one time. I need to hear it. Okay. Okay. Thank just you. Just tell him that, but you know they stupid. It's being very, it most definitely is. I, I had was... to go buy new pots all the time. And back money was real tight back then. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, mm-hmm. I got to go get another three hundred dollars set of pots, non-scratch pots. Okay. You know? Okay, you know, because he knows that I'm, I run a nonprofit organization here in Atlanta, mm-hmm. and I, I'm I'm out there in the community trying to help these young girls, and mm-hmm. I get tired, and I was just tired right before Thanksgiving. He was trying to get it ready for Thanksgiving because he bought a pool table, and I am mm, I'm trying to forgive him. I talk to myself. I like forgive him, Carla. Just go ahead and forgive. And then you already forgave him, him. That's why you calling me. You just needed that extra push. Just forgive him. And <laughs> I just need for you to say you sorry. Okay. In the 35 years we've been together, you've never said you sorry. Can you just give me this so okay. I can process this because it was something sentimental to me. Yeah, it was. It's very, it was you very cannot good. replace. I get it. Yes. Oh, I got two plates from my auntie. They know not to touch them plates in the house. Okay. Okay. So, just, even I though mean, the plates came from the Dollar Tree and I could go rebuy them plates. It's her plates that she ate off of. Yeah, in my place, and they know not to touch them damn plates. So if he mm. throw them plates away, he gonna die. Okay, that's how I was feeling. Like I wanted to do <laughs> something to him. But I you know, him. but that's but that's your her thirty five years, and he's steady trying to talk to you. Go talk to that man. Okay, life okay. too short. You know that it is. It is. It's very. So okay, thank you. And, I, and I'm I'm a humanitarian, so I have a good heart. But it, I it was broken. You. 
I it know. was broken into pieces. But I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to him tonight when he get home. From talk work. to him and just say I just need you to say I'm sorry. That's it. Okay. Thank All right. You. Thank you, Miss Basta. You're welcome. Bye. All right. Bye bye. Okay.